Lesson three. Lesson three is on perimeter and circumference. The first thing we want to do is find the perimeter of the figure we have drawn below. All angles are right angles and dimensions are in inches. So of course when we're talking about perimeter, we're talking about the distance around the outside of the shape. So we're going to go around the whole outer edge, these three rectangles that are put together, and we're going to add them up to find out what the perimeter is. So we'll start from the left to the right. We'll start over here with the nine and the four and we'll work our way around. So we've got nine, plus four, plus five, plus eight, plus five, plus three, plus nine, plus fifteen, and when we add those together we're going to find out what our perimeter is. So go ahead and add those up. We get a total of 58 inches. And make sure you have your unit on there as well. 58, and you can write out inches, or you can just say IN. 58 inches would be our answer. Now, when we're looking at this lesson, we've got to have some, some common terms that we use. When we're talking about circles, key vocabulary today would be radius, diameter, and circumference. So, let's look at a circle. If we look at a circle here, we can define these words with pictures, and sometimes that's the easiest way to do it. So the radius, hopefully you're thinking of what the radius is. If we know the center of the circle is here, then the radius of the circle must be the distance from the outside to the center. So the radius, the radius we've got in red. Now the diameter, let's put the diameter in blue here. The diameter, the diameter is from the center, to the outside edge twice. So we're going to go all the way through the center of the circle. Now forgive me for these not being perfectly straight lines, but they're working for our purposes right now. Diameter is distance across the circle through the center. Then circumference, circumference is our last word here, and circumference, circumference we'll have in green, and circumference is the distance around the outside edge of the circle. So I'm just going to make some arrows going around this circle we're going around clockwise to show that our circumference is a distance around the outside. Now, our question for today, we're looking at the circumference of a circle is 24 meters, and we have to find the radius of the circle. Let's go ahead and draw out a circle here. So the circumference C is equal to 24 meters. We have to find out what the radius is equal to. Okay, so we've got the circumference of 24 all the way around the outside, working in a counterclockwise direction this time. And we need to figure out what the radius is. Now, if we want to figure out what the radius is, we need to know a relationship between the circumference and the, uh, the radius. And what we know, we've studied this in our previous classes, you can take a look on page 11 if you need a reference, is that the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times our radius. Or we could say the circumference is equal to our diameter times pi, d for diameter. Now if we go through this problem, we know what the circumference is so we can solve for our unknown. And our unknown right now is our radius because we know what pi is, that's 3.14, and then we need to figure out the radius. So the circumference is 24. So 24 is going to be equal to, we're using our top equation now, 2 times our pi value of 3.14 times our radius. Now, we solve for r. So 24 is going to be equal to 2 times 3.14. That must be 6.28 times our radius. And then we can go ahead and solve. We need to figure out 6.28 times what is equal to 24 in order to figure this out. We're going to use division, 24, divided by 6.28 to solve. On your own, please divide. 24 divided by 6.28. Now when you've got the answer, check it. The radius should be equal to 3.82 meters 
and we've got our final answer. We can box that, and we're all done. If you have a question, please go ahead and record it. Our lesson practice is going to be page 12 and 13 during our next class. That's all for today. Hope you have a nice evening. Make sure you've got all your notes completed.